Hey guys, it's Jess aka What's On Our Face and welcome to today's video! So this video is going to be slightly different than usual. We are going to be diving into the world of high-end makeup. I know, a little crazy coming from me. But I have a friend who works at Estee Lauder and she was kind enough to gift me some incredible products to try out. Well, at least I'm hoping they're incredible. We're going to find out together if they're incredible. I know the Estee Lauder Double Wear is like huge and I actually have a whole video of me trying that one and two other high-end foundations out so I will link that down below and you guys can watch that to hear my thoughts on it the foundation I will be trying out today is this bad boy it's the Estee Lauder double wear cushion foundation I've actually never used a cushion foundation before so I have no idea how this bad boy even works um please don't laugh at me if I look like a complete fool also we will be trying out this concealer so it is like double-sided on one end there's like a hydra prep situation and on the other is a 24-hour concealer i actually have really dry under eyes so i'm excited to put the hydra prep on i'm not really sure if it's supposed to go like over foundation and under concealer or just like as a base under everything i think i'm gonna put it on under everything like you would a primer so these are the two face products that i will be trying out today and we will do a whole ass wear test and it's gonna be super duper fun so if you want to stick around for that we will dive into it as soon as you subscribe if you haven't already give this video a big fat thumbs up and turn on that bell so you can be the first to know when my shenanigans hit the tube and now it looks like we are ready to put these bad boys on our face so I'm already primed with my L'Oreal infallible primer that I always use I'm gonna keep the rest of my products like completely normal things that I know work for my skin and that I like but I do want to add this hydro prep situation to underneath my eyes it's a really nice like soft texture situation so I'm really into that she also gave me this brush so I will be using it I guess oh it's, it feels really nice on my skin I really like this oh my gosh hello so I really like the way the brush blended out this gel situation but obviously the real test of how a brush works is with a colored product like something that you can actually see because we want to you know not have any streaks on our face and we would not see streaks with a clear product so the real test will be coming shortly <laughs> but yeah other than that my under eyes like you can see they look hydrated yeah. so for the cushion foundation i'm using the shade one and two ecru and this is what the packaging looks like you guys um this is luxe as fuck wow all right so when you open it up it has this mirror right over here and then this powder puff situation do people use the powder puffs that come in cushion ma um cushion mascara cushion foundation also how do i oh 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 look at all of like the layers to this shit this is crazy so there's this little layer right on top and this seems to be the foundation i will just dip this i'm like literally so scared how do you i just did like a really tiny push down and it came out so that's good okay okay let's put on our face oh says did someone say coverage? I hate using this, let me say. Okay, how about I use this to get it on my skin? And then I will blend one side with the brush and one side with my beauty blender and we will see what I like better. So let's do that. Okay, I can tell you immediately I hate how this brush blends. So the color is kind of cute. The shade is a bit too light for me. I don't know. I definitely need to try it with my blender though. Yeah, so the coverage is not bad. I would say maybe medium buildable. I can't say that this is extremely full coverage, but it's not bad. It's definitely not bad at all. So for my beauty blender, I think I'm just going to dip my beauty blender in to it. I'm scared. That worked. That's literally so much better, says hello. Yes. Also, I just realized I'm saying Beauty Blender, but it's not a Beauty Blender. It's a Real Technique sponge, but I don't know why Beauty Blender is just so much easier to say. 
I'm gonna be doing the rest of my face with my sponge and not with a brush because I just can tell that I hate it. So now that we look like a whole ass ghost, I gotta say I'm actually really concerned with how much I love how the foundation applied. Like it's also really fun to like bounce my sponge inside of the cushion area or whatever. Um, and it applied so smoothly, like it kind of looks flawless. One thing is I'm not sure if this is completely matte, like I, I feel like I kind of have like a glow situation going on and I would appreciate more to not. I really like the only glow on my face to come from my highlighter, but I do think it's a really nice coverage, like my skin looks really nice. I could definitely say this is like a very skin finish foundation, you know? I can't be mad, it looks definitely really nice. And now we are going to try on the concealer. So it has this kind of applicator, it's like flat. It, it smells like concealer. <laughs> like it doesn't smell like absolutely nothing, but it's like not crazy. The shade is definitely way too dark. What shade is this? This is 2W Light Medium. Okay, so we are gonna give this brush another go and see how she looks. I kind of almost like how the brush blends out the concealer. My problem is this shade is way, way, way too dark for me. Like the shade is about the same color as my um, foundation and I definitely like a bright under eye as opposed to like, like uniform. So I'm gonna do this eye and then I'm gonna powder. I usually like to put on concealer, powder, and then put on concealer and then powder. But I wanna see how fast this guy creases. So we're just gonna take our sweet time today, sis. Okay, so the concealer is applied. She definitely does look really nice. I like that she um, does not look dry AF at all, but I usually like, you know, dry myself out with my powders, but I would really prefer more of a brightening effect and creating more dimension with like a brighter under eye, but like the concealer itself, formula-wise, looks really good. <laughs> no creasing going on, sis. This is really impressive. We are gonna powder with my Maybelline Fit Me, nothing new here. Okay, so now that we have my foundation and concealer on, I'm going to film the rest of the steps of my base, but I'm just gonna kind of speed through it unless I have something to say, then I will pause and we will talk. But otherwise, I feel like I really like how the base looks right now. We are gonna have to see how it um, reacts to the rest of my powders and then we will have check-ins throughout the day and I will give you my final thoughts. How does that sound? Okay, so we are back and my base makeup is all done and I didn't like take any breaks in between or anything and I'm just kind of surprised at how wet my forehead looks and I don't put any highlight on my forehead. This is just my forehead. Um, maybe I will put a little bit of powder on it or just like what's left on my powder brush, nothing extra. But yeah, I do think my forehead and a little bit like on my nose over here are just like and not lasting as long as I'm used to so I don't really know what's going on but we will do some check-ins throughout the day and see how this holds up other than what I just did on the wet areas I'm not going to be touching up my face at all throughout the day so that is all I guess I will see you guys later hey guys yes my hair is in a bun now I'm sorry that I look like such a potato as for my foundation I think it's still looking super cute nothing crazy going on I definitely like am creasing on my under eyes I checked the mirror like 10 minutes ago and I was definitely creasing I don't know how well you can see it on my front video camera but yeah like it's not super crazy bad obviously but it's also I don't know if I'm like blown away I do like that like you can't really see the pores on my nose because sometimes even with my L'Oreal Infallible you can but yeah so that's really our update I will talk to you soon 
Alright, let's do another check-in. So, I look a bit wet in the forehead and, like, around my cheeks. But honestly, you guys, this is... It's just not that bad. Like, I still think my skin looks nice and I don't look like I'm drowning in oil, maybe. But it's just not completely matte. And I do think that's okay. Like, yeah. So, I think she's cute. What do you think? By the way, if you're wondering why I'm wearing lashes right now, I'm also about to put on lipstick because I decided to film another video. So, stay tuned for that. Six hours in, still looking cute as fuck. I actually cheated a little bit though before I did my video and after I did my lash check <coughs> check in, I did like pat my face a little tiny bit like with my brush. Um, but yeah, I think we look good. Boom! <laughs> Hi, this is Just From The Future. So I'm just coming on here because I cannot say I agree anymore with the outro that I made when I originally made this video. So since then I've actually tried out the concealer multiple different ways. So I've actually tried just the um, like white gel stuff and then I've worn my regular concealer and I've also tried the concealer without the white stuff and that's actually what I'm wearing right now. And you guys, my face looks freaking flawless. I've been wearing the base makeup all day, like literally for hours and I have like no creases. I'm sorry that my camera quality is so terrible right now, but I promise I literally look so so good right now and I'm not even wearing the gel part and when I do wear the gel and I pair it with my normal concealer which I normally wear the Maybelline better skin the Maybelline concealer actually like stays nicer than it does without the gel part so that is really interesting and I don't know I just gotta say that I really freaking love it and yes I would 100% recommend it if you have the coin to kind of shell out and invest in this concealer duo situation go for it. You will not regret it. Your makeup will look so good, sis. You can see I still look really cute. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, this is my new outro. I don't know if I will be including the other one too, just to like show you my comparison thoughts. I might do that because I'm just crazy. But yeah. Okay, so welcome to our final check-in and closing thoughts. I have had my makeup on for like about 8 hours. It's 8 p.m. and I would really like to take it off because I want to cuddle my husband with my face. He's actually right over there. Can you see him? Anyway, um, the foundation is really good. Like, I'm a little shiny as I kind of have been during all of the check-ins, but I really do not think it looks tragic by any means. Also, the creasing under my eyes, I feel like it's almost gotten better with time. Like, it's really not bad at all, actually, especially compared to my um, other concealers. I often have, like, this one spot over here where I, like, get really creasy and there's like, almost no more concealer there by the end of the day, but I'm not seeing that happen at all with this bad boy so that's really nice to know um other than that I really can't say if it's significantly better than what I normally use like there are a lot of pros to it and the fact that like it's nice coverage and it does stay on all day I don't feel like my makeup has moved around at all so what I would say is that if you feel that drugstore foundations kind of break you out or if you just enjoy using high-end foundations then this is definitely what I would recommend if you like your drugstore foundation, then I don't know if I would say you should switch it out for this, necessarily. <laughs> but I did really enjoy wearing this, and my skin looks really nice, and I'm really happy with it. And it's definitely something that I am going to wear again in the future, because I feel kind of fabulous. So yeah, <laughs> that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you enjoy reviews like this, and want me to do wear tests, and like show you how my other stuff looks on me. I don't know. You tell me. And so yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>